Street Fighter V. Haven't talked too much about this one on this channel, but I mean, hey, we have a first for everything. And just a quick little reminder, I kind of grew up with Street Fighter. Not a lot of people know that, but Street Fighter was technically my first game I ever laid eyes on at a very young age of uh, maybe like, I don't know, a few weeks, few months or something like that. So very soon, there's gonna be a summer update that's going to be streamed on August 5th on the Capcom Fighters Twitch channel, as well as their YouTube channel, and apparently also on Facebook. It will be streamed at 10 a.m. Pacific, so Eastern time is probably gonna be 1 p.m., which is a very good time for me. And everyone's expecting to get a more, more of a closer look as to what exactly can we expect to see from the future content coming for Street Fighter V and the fifth season, which could potentially be the final season of Street Fighter V as we know it. And the bigger question is what characters are going to be coming to this fifth season and potentially final season of Street Fighter V. Now we do know that there are going to be some stages. I think there's gonna be three. And then there's also going to be some kind of like costume contest going on. So more costumes are gonna be added into the game. But like I said, the characters are literally what people are always going to be paying the most attention to and i just wanted you to give you guys my personal list as to who i think could make it in and it's going to be a mix of personal bias versus reality and some for fun and i think i actually do have a bonus character that i'm going to throw in there so we're going to go over my top five street fighter 5 championship edition season five characters. Now this is gonna be in no order of from like who's most likely to not likely. I'm just gonna be listening off as I list the, the first ones that came to mind. Yoon. Yoon has been one of my favorite characters ever since I saw this dude back in CVS 2. My man was coming through with the hat, skateboard, had the, the freaking, that gi on, and he had the Yoon, and I, that's something that I always, and I still actually say whenever I do quarter circle punch, and he does that lunging punch, and that's, that's just how it is. I've always loved the twins. I know that a lot of people are tired of those, of those guys. They were featured in the last Street Fighter, but again, this is, I guess you could say this is a personal bias. I really would think that having Yoon, Yoon or Yang, or a combination of the two, in Street Fighter V would actually be devastating. And I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't look forward to, to having to deal with a Gen Jin V trigger or something more unique that we've never seen before um, introduced to Yoon's kit. So again, personal pick, I'm going with Yoon. Next up is my man Rufus, another character that came straight out of Street Fighter 4, except I mean, I, we all know that Yoon did not come from Street Fighter 4, but Yoon was definitely added in Street Fighter 4. Rufus, however, was brand new to Street Fighter as a whole back in the day when Street Fighter 4 first came out. And he was actually one of the first new characters that I ever actually took the time to know. I looked up to players like Justin Wong, Ricky Ortiz. They were the ones that inspired me to really consider this big guy as someone that I would eventually go on to main during my tenure playing Street Fighter 4. So I just think that Rufus's moveset would be very unique, very fun, and who knows what kind of new additions that they could give this dude in Street Fighter V and what kind of crazy outfits he could have as well. Number three, so for this pick, I actually added this character in realizing that, oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure a lot of people would be happy with this one and it seems very realistic and I think that she would make a great fit in Street Fighter V. I'm going with my girl C Viper. Now C Viper is a character that I did not use a lot in Street Fighter 4, but I know that C Viper is popular enough that I actually remember her being featured in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Not for anything, when you have a versus game, you're gonna definitely pick characters from notable franchises and characters that are notable in general that might have some kind of popularity behind them. And I figured that since C Viper is somebody that I've seen around the you know Twitterverse and whatnot, people bringing her up in conversations that C Viper would definitely be somebody that would be very interesting in Street Fighter V. I'm gonna throw uh, C Viper in the mix. Number four, now this is where I kinda, I don't really wanna say wishfully thinking, but I think this one might make a lot of other people happy. So you know how Sakura's in the game? You know how she's from rival schools? 
Well, why don't we put another character in there? And I'm just gonna go on a limb and say Batsu. Why Batsu? Well, Batsu just has that it factor for me. When I played Batsu in Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, I was like, man, this guy is hype. He's got that energy. He's got... Like, he, he's just in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he just has that it factor. He's got, you know... Similar to Shoto's, he's a very schoolboy looking kind of character. I think that that would be a nice addition. And it would really, it, I would, I think what I would most look forward to from Batsu is just seeing the newer, refresh, brought to life model of the character and seeing how Sakura has grown up all through Street Fighter. And here, here we got her in Street Fighter V. She's literally like out of high school and she's working as an arcade attendant. I can only imagine what Batsu would look like. He'd probably look more of like a street thug than anything else, like probably like from the Kunio Kun games or something like that. So I would definitely go for Batsu. Now number five is actually a character that I almost forgot about. And because if you think back to all of the teases that people were speculating online and saying like, oh, they made a statue of this dude. He's, he's, he, he has like, like a, like a card in the game or something like that. And very early on, even before Street Fighter V was about to release, a lot of folks were assuming that Oro from Third Strike was going to be featured in Street Fighter V at some point in the game. And here we are, five seasons in, and not a sign of Oro at all. So I think that now is definitely the time to have Oro be included into Street Fighter V. Again, very unique moveset from Third Strike had a very unique look to him. Definitely one of the more abnormal characters that you would find um, in a Street Fighter game. But then again, you know, there's a lot of goofy looking characters in Street Fighter as it is, so there you go. I think that Oro in Street Fighter V with whatever kind of V skill, V trigger that they would hook him up with, I, I, I think he would be a problem. I could kind of feel like he, he would be a problem character. People would get annoyed as hell playing Oro. So those are five, but as a bonus, I definitely wanted to make this video and at least mention this character at some point in time. This is a character that I feel like if people saw this in Street Fighter game, I think a lot of people would pop off and then people would be like, oh, well, I mean, it's not like it couldn't have ever happened. And I, and, and then again, when you think about it, Street Fighter has a lot of in-house crossovers with their other IPs like Darkstalkers and Red Earth and even rival schools, I would imagine. There's always some kind of costume pack that they were going to be dressing up all the Street Fighter characters as previous characters that aren't even being used or given any kind of attention to. What series did I not name specifically? Well, it's because I think if you're going to have a guest character be featured in Street Fighter, which we don't even have yet, I think that having a guest character in Street Fighter is kind of important and it's kind of weird because it's one of the games right now that's lacking that ingredient look at tekken tekken is thriving with their guest characters soul caliber they're about to have some guest characters too they already have a couple and let's not even forget about smash brothers the home of literally like smash brothers becoming video games the game like in that and maximilian said it the best right i think a very good first foot forward towards introducing guest characters for street fighter i think they gotta go with dante Dante already being familiar, a familiar face from the Marvel vs. Capcom series. And I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, oh, nah, he has way too many moves. He's more of a versus kind of character. And you're definitely right. But I think that if they give him a moveset that would work for Street Fighter and it's a video game, so it's not like you have to include every single ability and every single weapon that this guy can pull out of his arsenal. I think that even with that challenge, you can most likely get away with adding at least most of where it's unnoticeable that he's missing any of all of the items and stuff that he's able to do. I mean, you do have unique moves in, you know, Street Fighter. You have your six buttons, you got forward, you got the, the, the down forward motions, you have the input commands. I'm sure if they really wanted to, they could, they could make it work. I think Dante would be one of those characters that not a lot of people would be expecting. And if he came into a game like Street Fighter, people would get excited and definitely invest stock into this game. So with my top five and your bonus sixth guest character, I wanna know your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think about my list? 
And if I was too far off the mark, I want to know your list. Who do you guys want to see in Street Fighter V coming up for this summer update? I will be most likely reacting live to this. So if you haven't already checked out my links in the description below, definitely hit that follow button on my Twitch account. So that way you can get alerted as to when I go live so you can catch this reaction to this live stream so we can all see and you can see my reaction live before it even goes on to this youtube channel because i'm actually really excited i love character reveals and normally this would be the time that evo would be revealing these things unfortunately because you know everyone knows what's going on with evo this is going to be very exciting and i can't wait to see what street fighter and capcom have to offer to us going forward at potentially the final season of street fighter championship edition content so with that being said guys make sure you like share subscribe me up on twitter all that good stuff supporting links are gonna be in the description like i said before make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves may the power protect you keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i will see y'all next time